Uh, welcome to the Canadian Clay and Glass Gallery. My name is Bill Poole. Um, it's my pleasure to give you the initial welcome here today. And um, I'd also like to acknowledge that we are gathered here on territory that was part of the great dish shared by the neutral Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. The Canadian Clay and Glass Gallery is situated on the Haldeman Tract, which is part of the land ceded, which is the land ceded by the Crown to the Six Nations that includes six miles on each side of the Grand River. Now before I just turn the podium over to Tom Mennell, our board chair, I'd like to recognize a few people. Ken Sealing, regional chair, and his wife Kathy. Ken and Kathy, thank you very much for coming. And uh, while I'm at it, Willie Nassau, who's a, a, been a volunteer at the gallery since before the gallery was even conceptualized, so thank you, Willie and Ann Roberts, who is certainly one of the founders. Where's Ann? Ann Roberts, thank you for being here again, Ann. Come on, everyone, come on right in. You'll get a better, you'll get a better look at Reed and, uh, and the work when, when the time comes. So anyway, thank you so much all for coming. And it's now my pleasure to uh, uh, introduce uh, Tom Mennell, our board chair. Thank you very much, Bill, and, and welcome to this uh, wonderful exhibition opening of uh, Christopher Reed Flock's Integration, Disintegration, including works by uh, several of his mentors. Uh, it is a great exhibition, and we're very proud to have it in our gallery. Uh, congratulations, Reed, and thank you very much to Sheila McMath, our curator, for the work that she has done in putting this together, as well as all of the other staff members and volunteers who have helped to install and and make this look as great as it does. Uh, we are a public gallery and we are very much dependent upon the good work of our many volunteers um, and a tremendous staff that we have that works very hard and does a lot with little. Uh, we have uh, also a number of members, donors, sponsors and funders uh, including the Canada Council for the Arts, the Ontario Arts Council and the City of Waterloo for which we are extremely grateful. Uh, at this time, I'd like to now um, recognize two other board members that are here, Jan Dai and Megan Whitfield, uh, at governance volunteers, and we certainly appreciate all the work that the, the board does too. Uh, I'd like now to introduce our curator, Sheila McMath, to talk about uh, the exhibition and introduce Reed. Thank you. Hi there, everyone. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Um, I'd just like to start out by acknowledging how significant it is to have these four artists, Reed Flock, uh, Bruce Cochran, Diane Nassaro Young, and Kao Young exhibiting at the same time. Bruce, Diane, and Kao's works were included in an exhibition in the mid 90s called White on White, and it's been over 20 years since they've exhibited together. So it's a real treat to have their work here in the gallery at this time. I'd like to thank the Art Gallery of Burlington, uh, specifically Denis Longchamp and Christine Sally, and Jonathan Smith, who um, donated uh, works from his personal collection as well. Um, I'd just like to thank them for their generosity and collegial spirit and pulling that, the, the exhibition of the mentor's work together um, in such a great way. I'm really, really pleased to have um, works uh, by, by Reed's mentors here as well. So now I'd just like to take a moment to acknowledge um, the significance of this exhibition, specifically for Reed Flock. Uh, in the mid-90s, with an established mentorship with Kale Young underway, Reed attended an exhibition here at the Canadian Clay and Glass Gallery called The Question of Identity, where he saw the works of 12 selected icons of Canadian ceramics. This exhibition was held at the same time as the International Academy of Ceramics exhibition, the IAC, an IAC conference. And after speaking to Reed, I know that seeing the works of these Canadian international and international ceramic artists here at this space had an impact on him and his sensibility as a maker. So it's a bit of a homecoming, I think, a bit of a um, sort of, you know, uh, round circle, right? It, it's remarkable that fewer than 20 years later, Reed was invited uh, by the gallery to exhibit new work here and to have such an ambitious 
complex and resolved body of work, um, debuting here today is really a treat for me and I hope for everyone else. So I'd also just like to take a moment to um, do some thank yous for people who allowed us to borrow work for this exhibition, uh, specifically Joan Bennett, uh, Mary Jane Gable, Aaron Milrad, Jose Nason, and Ann Roberts. So now I'll turn it over to Reed, and um, you'll hear from him about his show. So um, thanks very much, everyone, for coming. Please feel free to ask questions of me and um, connect with Reed and, and the mentors that are represented as well. So thanks again. I'll turn it over to Reed. <laughs> Hi. Um, thank you very, very much for coming. Um, it's been a lot of fun putting the show together, and uh, certainly the staff um, at the uh, Canadian Clay and Glass has been integral in pulling everything together to make this work. Um, it's been quite a journey, and certainly a lot of it couldn't really come to uh, fruition without that initial inspiration uh, within Clay uh, from K.O., Deanne, and Bruce. And I think a lot of what uh, Oh, my notes are here. Isn't that nice? Um, huh. I'm going to read a little bit. Um, so along with that, I think it's really, um, it's neat being part of that creative landscape. You know, in our Canada's 150th year, we have a lot to celebrate. I love hockey, but there's a lot more to our culture, and I think that we really do um, tend to overlook some of the creative industry that we have in our, in our culture. Um, and this exhibition is not just simply about the hands-on processes that we enjoy as, as creatives, as craftspeople, but it's about integrating new technologies um, and trying to get away from just simply following the, the normal path. And that's ultimately, I think, what I've, what I've been trying to, uh, to achieve with this. A lot of it could not happen without uh, the help, of course, with Canadian Clay and Glass, the Art Gallery of Burlington. Um, Jim and Kimiko Koenagi with the, the lending of a 5,000-year-old Jomon artifact to get um, some new ideas going and, and marrying that with high technologies. Um, Canada Council for the last two years has been incredibly supportive uh, uh, in conducting some new research along that line. Um, and I've spent the last two years working at Medalta in order to bring some of these pieces to fruition. There are seven components in the show, um, and it all starts with um, the gallery next door, um, which starts as mentorship, flow, harvest, ferment. And something else that Keo and Dan really encouraged me to look at is that all pieces have a bit of a flow to them, and it res resonates around the teapot, that canonized vessel that allows us to, kind of as like an SLR camera, take a snapshot of a moment of time, how you felt inside, what your surroundings were, and, uh, and appreciate that landscape. Um, so I've taken that harvest and fermented a little bit and created my own series of, of teapots um, starting from 1998 all the way up to 2016. And each moment represents a particular moment in time and how I was feeling, what my surroundings were, be it in Burlington or Hamilton, um, Ibarakiken, Japan, um, and then back in Hamilton again. Um, so it's, it's, it's been really neat to see them all together as 12 moments at once. It's, it's really quite, quite exciting to see them. Um, and then moving to the infinity bowls behind us here. Um, again, just thinking of them. My background is with, with music. Um, and I see each of the bowls as individual notes. I think as makers, we, we treat the bowl as something that we often take for granted, like we do a, a, a single note in a piece of music. And uh, so for me, the Infinity Bowls were really kind of an integral part of that uh, celebration of individual notes that slowly grow and become symphonic. And as a collective, um, they really do have a, a movement of their own. And the uh, Infinity uh, Integration Disintegration Cup Saucies behind us here um, are also kind of pulling from that energy and realizing as, as a collective with the full gravitational pull of things, how it all integrates into one again. Um, so to lay out the show, mentorship, 12 moments, in, uh, infinity, integration, disintegration, and into uh, the subconscious here with play, which is uh, three squeeze toys, originally from uh, a Jomon, 5,000-year-old Jomon artifact that uh, 
I 3D or I had it. Uh, I had um, CT scanned at the Trillium Health Sciences in Mississauga, with the help of uh, Siemens Canada, um, to uh, CT scan a uh, Jomon artifact, have it 3D printed to scale, and then this year I decided that uh, wanted to increase that to a four and a quarter foot tall uh, 3D printed or 3D centered object. 3D centering is much different from 3D printing. It's selective laser centering. Um, the machine is roughly a million and a half dollar machine at Mohawk College in their uh, IdeaWorks uh, AMRC lab. And uh, we managed to create 46, uh, 42 components that I then glued together into 16 components. And uh, with the help of Clint Neufeld in Saskatoon, uh, Osler, well, he would kill me if I just said Saskatoon. Osler, Saskatchewan. Um, he uh, taught me and tutor, tutored me on the fine art of working with uh, plaster mold making. And so the molds, there are 16 in total, uh, ranging in uh, weight from anywhere of 20 pounds up to 130 pounds. Um, and the most complex mold is roughly 16 to 17 components. Slip cast them, fired them, assembled them, and kind of like clay thumbing its nose at plastic because uh, there's been this long pillow fight war between clay and plastic for the longest of time, um, created squeeze toys um, that resemble something like plastic, sound like plastic, look like plastic, but very heavy, uh, you know, process heavy um, and simplified simply with, uh, with primary colors. And at the very end of the gallery, we have basking. Um, that piece on the wall, there's a bit of a story behind it, and that's something that KO and Dion often encouraged me to do is to to find uh, those stories and allow yourself to relay those stories in clay and vitrify them. And so um, that pot on the wall, that drop of blood, was a piece that uh, started off as a vase. I was making a teapot and I wasn't paying attention and I stepped on the foot pedal on the wheel and the pot went zing and hit the wall. And I said a number of words, and I uh, peeled it off the wall and left it and went upstairs. And I came back down, and it was still sitting on the table, and I couldn't help but think that, you know, Kale was behind me saying, you know, it's okay, just drink your beer, man, enjoy the pots, <laughs> and uh, make something out of it. So I thought, well, to elevate it, um, I extruded a... 12 inch pillow, flattened it and put it on a pillow and radiated some pieces that eventually transpired into basking. And it really, I took that literally and then the far gallery there are four other baskets that bask in color, bask in surface treatment, bask in form and resonate with something that culturally is, is very, very exciting. Um, something that transcends color and time and culture and that is the basket form. So the whole show has really been about that landscape of craft, that landscape that we all really appreciate that re transcends culture and time and, and country, and uh, trying to find that collective agreement between all the pieces, all the while working with a lovely building that's fantastic to curate. Anyway, thank you very much for that. To be continued, yeah? Thank you, Reed, very, very much. As Sheila said, we're, we're truly honored and uh, proud to have your exhibition and those of your uh, pieces from your mentors with us uh, in the gallery for a few months. Um, in, just in my acknowledgments um, at the start, I neglected to acknowledge John Good, who is here with us from Good Foundation Inc. And Good Foundation Inc. Uh, uh, has been a consistent and generous supporter of the work at the Canadian Clay and Glass Gallery. So, Thank you very much for that, John, and best to Jim when you see him next. And um, so it, just to, in conclusion, to say that I know Reed will be delighted to answer any questions you have, talk about anything after you've had a chance to get a glass of wine or a ginger ale as you, as you choose. And to say for those of you who are members of the gallery, opening days like this are 20% off in 20% discounts in the shop. So, and if you're not a member, you can become a member and then get your 20% discount. So, Laura Moore, uh, our shop, uh, shop associate, is there uh, willing to help you with anything you might like. So, please enjoy the balance of the afternoon, uh, chat with Reed, and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, enjoy the exhibitions. Thanks so much.